Hello guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. So in this video tutorial, we will learn a bit about how to use a resistor within the Simulink. As we know that resistor is a device that used to dissipate energy, that used to drop the voltage and also used to limit the current. So it is a purely passive device. Okay, so now let's start. First go to your view section and click on library browser. Here you need to take resistor. First write resistor here and click on the search mark. Okay, here come to the simscape and right click on this resistor and it block to model untitled. Okay, now this is our resistor. Now we will press Ctrl and plus so that it will zoom a bit. Okay, now we can properly see it. Now we will go again to the library browser. Okay, now we okay S O U R sources. Now we will take our DC source. We can take the generic battery as well, but we can also take uh, electrical sources and DC voltage source. So we will edit it in our model. Okay, now it is our DC voltage source and this is our resistor. Okay, now what we need to do is to take one display so again go to library browser and write your display okay we will take our display by clicking right click on it and uh, adding it okay so this is our display we cannot use directly display with the resistor first we must have to use some blocks okay okay now uh, we will select resistor by clicking clicking on it and we will copy and paste it that is by pressing ctrl v and ctrl c okay so there are two resistors we will change the resistance by giving it 100 ohm and this one to 200 ohm okay we can connect them out like this okay we can also copy and paste this display drag them a little okay now we will take our voltage sensors again go to library browser and write here voltage sensor So voltage sensor, this is our simscape voltage sensor. We will take two voltage sensor. Okay, now these are the voltages sensor. Okay, now what will what they will do? They will sense the voltage and send the sense voltage voltages to the display. Okay, now you need to connect one end of the voltage sensor with the resistors other end uh, like the point uh, the the two points on which we want to find the uh, voltage drop so this is our okay this one and this one okay okay we cannot connect it directly with the display okay but we can connect it like that yes okay so we need to take physical signal to simulink converter block so again go to library browser and we will write here ps2 simulink so this is our 
physical signal to simulink converter so it will convert physical signal to simulink one because this display belongs to the simulink not to the simscape so we have to convert it out to the like this okay so again connected with the this voltage sensor okay now our circuit is complete but we have missed two blocks one is the ground or electrical reference block and the other is the solver configuration block go to electrical ref and we will get this electrical reference block normal ground do not use to work with the simscape component so always use this electrical reference block also do one thing that we will take okay that we need to take solver country duration block so we will take it out it is also necessary for the simscape component just connect it with the electrical reference or ground okay so we will now change our voltages to 10 okay and okay now we can see that on one resistor that is the resistor which is having the value 200 it is having the voltage drop of 6.67 and the resistor of 100 ohm is having a voltage drop of 3.33 volts so this satisfies our kvl that is kirchhoff voltage law uh, so because we can see the exact values on the displays so all the potential difference that is raised by the dc voltage source is just dropped by these resistors so hopefully you got the concept thanks for watching this video tutorial